found out that your pet was missing. They were stolen for scientific experimentation. How would you feel if your beloved pet became a member of an unofficial animal graveyard? What are you doing out so late? You know you're supposed to be in dorms after 8 o'clock. <sighs> Come on, you know anything can happen. <coughs> I don't want to be out here any longer than I have to. You know what happened out here. Don't you? Okay, come on. What are you doing? You want me to tell it to you, don't you? You kids are gonna get me in so much trouble, I hope you know that. Apparently there is this crazy doctor that lived across the street from the school and he wanted to do some medical experiments. Not having anyone to do the experiments on, he found a stray cat and did so many experiments on it that it finally died. Not knowing what to do with the body, he buried it on the grounds here. Yeah. And then after that, he of course needed more subjects to do his experiments on. He would pick up cats, dogs, or any other animal that came across his path. And like clockwork, by the time he tortured them to death, he would bury them here in front of the school. But of course, it wouldn't take long for people to notice. I mean, people notice a missing pet or a strange smell coming from their neighbor's yard. And people especially notice a crazy old man crossing the street covered in dirt. Finally, a neighbor caught him red-handed and he got arrested for cruelty to animals. He should have got a lot more than that. Now people have reported seeing all sorts of animal ghosts. Cats, dogs, even birds. Some have even seen animals charge at the house. <laughs> Did you see that?